everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Are you ready to have some fun with just a couple of greeting cards to make something like this, which is very fun and very easy and anybody can make this. So this is a little, uh, I would call it a, either a trifold or a little mini portfolio. But um, the nice thing about it is it's very easy to make. It's quick. Uh, you can use up a lot of your scraps and it's a nice thing to insert inside a journal. Here is the demonstration of me inserting it into a journal. Here I go. There I am inserting it into a journal. Yep, there I go. And uh, you could clip it on, you could paper clip it, you could um, whatever you like. I mean, you could just put a big paper clip and it will work just dandy inside your journal as a fun thing to be tucked inside. Don't even know where it went at this point, do you? Nope. Okay, so let's take a look at this so you can see exactly what it is to see if you might have some fun today with your papers, making something simple and easy and breezy. I'll get rid of the decor here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So I, uh, this is the front page. It has been uh, collaged. It has a, oh, let me take that off because that was part of the getting it into the journal. Oh, I just glued this on. That's why that moved. Okay. I, it's literally still just wet. Okay. Um, I put a little paper clip with a, um, just a little piece of uh, cotton muslin on it to, as the closure. Here is the back. As you can see, it's just a collage of different types of paper, different uh, writing styles, different font, different um, colors of pages, different size of texts, just something to give the eye um, an opportunity to wander around. Plus, I had a lot of scraps hanging around. Thought you might too. Okay, so it opens up like this and then it opens up like this. And what do we have inside? What do we have? We have a little collection of journal cards. And I believe these are all from my DigiKit um, beautiful, do I want to say beautiful birds? I'll, I'll, I'll put it, I'll put the link down below. Uh, something about birds. <laughs> um, and you can see different um, styles of text here and uh, different colors of paper, different sizes of text. And I just made, everything is made out of book pages. Um, the decorations, even this uh, little corner is made out of book pages. So you could, you could tuck anything in here, but this is just an example. And on this side, I made a long um, U-shaped pocket out of another, this similar book page that's popping up here, here, and here. And I just put some of those fun papers that we made the other day, um, just little writing papers, little note papers that you could tuck in here and just give somebody an opportunity to write a few extra little secrets to themselves. And um, in the center is actually a little notebook. And I just um, cobbled together uh, in petticoat style, mean, meaning this little um, layered look at the bottom, uh, torn bottom. Uh, I sewed across here and then I glued it in from the whole top piece here. And then I added that extra piece of uh, a uh, little embellishment on the top from that one page. So you can do a lot with very little. It didn't require a lot of supplies, basically a couple of greeting cards. And um, you can work with cards that are different size, but for this project, I'm just gonna be working with cards that are the same size. So we can see how to make something kind of cool. And this would be fun to put in a basket for somebody, maybe a birthday basket or a Mother's Day basket or something like that. And uh, it just might be a fun little, a little something for them to explore. Okay, uh, now they're certainly not going to get this um, from everybody else, right? Uh, so on the front, my decorations are this little uh, painted paper clip. No, it's a safety pin. Yep. And um, just more of a torn book page with a cute little old button. This little uh, fo uh, picture, isn't that cute? Looks like he's um, whacking for mice on the floor, which I think is kind of a funny, a funny scene. Um, and a little applique on the bottom. Just a little bit of inking around just for fun. And you can dress these up or, or down as much as you like. But um, let's make one. So easy, not rocket science. Okay, grab yourself a couple of cards. It doesn't matter what size they are. It'll pretty much work in any size um, uh, situation. I have these two cards. I have like, a lot of the same card. So this is a great way for me to use up the structure of the card. Uh, these happen to be blank on the inside, but it will work whether there's something on the inside or not because we're going to cover it. So what you want to do is hold them in the regular orientation. Let's say opening um, uh, right to left. And then you want to take one and what we're going to do is take the front of it, if that's where your uh, picture is. I'm going to turn it around and we're going to do this. So it's going to look like this. Okay. And uh, so our two picture sides, there's one picture, there's the other picture. They're going to lay on top of each other. So let's just go ahead and glue that down. I feel like maybe I need to back up a little bit here. Okay, there we go. Focus, focus. Okay. 
Um, let me get a little more light on the subject. Why is it dark in here? I don't know. Got 17,000 lights. Okay. So we're going to glue our pretty puppy there. Not, not you. No, no sunshine. You're fine. And, uh, I've already actually given this card to a lot of my friends. So it's okay that I, uh, that, that I, uh, you know, this puppy is uh, going to be used for other things. Yes, it's okay. Um, all right, here we go. So basically what you want to do is just glue these two together. Don't abut it right in the edge. Maybe give yourself like an eighth of an inch away from the, from the spine, um, just so that you have a little bit of, um, folding room. So you have, cause we're going to be building up a little bit and you want to have a little extra room. So at least an eighth of an inch, even a quarter of an inch is okay. All right, there we go. All right, got that handled. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is we're just going to um, collage the heck out of this. Do, do, do. Whoop, there we go. Um, all right, so I have just got a um, collection. Whoops, you're way too close. What are you doing there? Okay, there you go. Um, a dark, rich caramel color in German. It doesn't matter um, what, you know, they don't have to be different languages, but um, I just grabbed things that looked different, text blocks, that looks different. Uh, there's a recipe. Here's some shorthand. Um, you can use um, kids' books, pictures. It doesn't matter. But the contrasting colors um, kind of make it uh, neat. And the um, different styles of everything is going to give it a little bit of pop. All right. So let's go ahead and just glue some of this stuff down. And I've got actually, in this last one I was working on, I've got some scraps. Let me bring those over. Let me back up a little bit so you can see a little better. Okay, here we go. Now we're rocking. All right, this is how it's done. Okay, now we're going to town. We're going, we're going all the way to town today. Okay, and uh, um, you, what I would say is uh, you, you can do a couple of different things, and, and this is what I tried because I really didn't know what I was doing. Um, <laughs> so uh, I grabbed a glue stick. Glue stick? Okay. And uh, maybe I just want to move some of that stuff over. Okay, so what we're going to do is this one is a little bit bigger than our card, which actually works out well because we are going to do a bit of a wrap around because we want to cover the edges. Okay, um, just because we want to cover the edges, that's really why. Okay, so uh, and the reason why we're doing that, um, the wrap around, is because then we're going to put some stuff on the other side, and it's already going to have an edge, and we don't have to worry about what are we going to do with the edges and where they go and all that kind of thing. So just make sure that you cover all your edges. And in the middle too. And if there's anything that you don't want, um, like written, maybe there's something in there that's just not jiving with you, you can always cover it up. You can always cover it up, which is awesome. The power of the crafter. We can cover. We can cover. Okay, so now we have this. And it already has some glue on it. Let me see if this is enough. And if it's not, I can always come in with some Fabrifix for the save. Let's see how we do. So we're just, just doing a basic little fold here. We'll fold here, folding it all up, covering, covering, uh, not worrying about too much because like I said, this back is going to be covered as well. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. All right. So we pretty much have that one side done and we can add more to it and I'll show you how to do that to make it look more collage like. Um, okay. So now let's do this side, but basically, oh, wait, okay. The same concept. Let's find a page that is, um, well, let's see what we got. What do we got? Okay, I kind of like that one maybe for the... Oh, he's really pretty. Oh, maybe we'll put him over here, though. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, maybe we'll do you over here. Yeah. Okay, so this one doesn't quite exactly fit, and, and let's see how that works out. That's kind of pretty, too. Um, that's I like this one better, actually. All right, so let's go ahead and glue this one up all the way. Let's just cover everything, getting all our edges. And you can use big chunks for collage. It's okay because you can always go over it and uh, knock it down and make it look like it was smaller. So as you see, what I'm doing is I'm, I've got some hangover. Okay. That's what I want. I want some hangover. Okay. So let's go see what we got here and see if I have enough glue. Was I a good gluer? We're going to find out. We're going to find out. Let's see. There we go. Okay. Um, so we have that. All right, so now we want a little bit more here and here, and we can do that any way we like. Um, maybe you want to do some contrasting. Um, this would be some contrasting. Let's see what we have here. Um, and we could go across like this. Yes, we, we could. There's that little ruler. Okay, so we want to go, we want to be beyond the edge because we want a little wrap around. Okay, and then we want, maybe I'm going to take off the, um, 
the blank part. I'm just going to go for text because I think that's going to look really cool. Okay. Uh, always a little bit extra and then you lose some. Okay. So let's uh, maybe go here because we think that might be the right spot. This is a very Terry type piece of paper. We'll see how far we get. All right. Now let's be, we'll be extra ginger. <laughs> Okay. Uh oh, I can shrink you down. There we go. Okay. All right. Um, with the uh, with the older papers, be gentle because uh, they might tear a little bit. But since we're tacking them down completely, we have that working in our favor. Now you want to get close to the spine, but not touching it. Um, so maybe again, leave that core eighth of an inch, and uh, that will give you some oops see that where that's where it tore okay we just got to come back in here with some more glue in this is called the glue the bejeebers movement move movement uh the old trick of yes there we go we pretend like it never oh, there it broke again okay that's okay just oh there it stuck to my fingers okay that's what happens when you have glue on your hands okay down there down there stay like you belong there all right now we have this little piece maybe we can just stick it on if not we'll just go glue over it can you see okay there we go all right all right, so now what do we have? Okay, so we have this, that's something. <laughs> and we have this little strip here. So let's take, um, maybe do I have any shorthand hanging around? Shorthand, there's some shorthand. Maybe that would look kind of cute. Coming down the middle zone there. All right, let's see. Oh, that's pretty. All right, let's, uh, I just want you to see the contrast when you use different types of writing. And writing, whoops, doesn't even have to be writing. It can be um, pictures or it can be, you know, shorthand, which I, I guess is sort of writing. Um, but um, it can be all different kinds of text. I think that makes uh, it the intrigue grand. Okay, so same thing here. We're just going to come here and um, officially gluing the bejeebers. Gluing the bejeebers, gluing the bejeebers. Probably a good idea to have a wet wipe handy because there's going to be glue everywhere and it's going to get on your project and on your hands. And it's always good to be prepared. I am not. <laughs> okay, let me go up a little higher so I can do the wrap over. And we're wrapped over. Did that go okay? Yep, we got stuff stuck all over the place here. All right. So what do we have? We have uh, the two inside covers um, done at this point. So that wasn't that wasn't too hard, right? I mean, that, that we pretty much could handle. And um, let's see on the inside, what do we want to do here? Now I've got some of this neutral in, and this is very thin paper and this might be just very nice to uh, glue, glue right on here. Why don't I do that? Okay, I am going to just cover this inside with glue. Yes, that is what I'm going to do, I'm gluing. Can you tell I love to glue? Do you guys love to glue? I, I could glue all day. We could just like hang out and glue, you know? All right, let me put this here close to the spine, but not right on it. And I'm just going to stay a little way from the edge on this one. I don't know why I just am. That's just the way it's going. Yep. Okay. Now this one's very broken up. I think there's two in here. Yep. Um, yeah, I could do that, couldn't I? Yep, I could do that. I'm going to have to come in there and glue all that down, but I could do that. All right, there we go. Okay, so let me just this down. Okay. Okay, get in there. Okay, little glue balls. All right, well, I got all sorts of broken paper, but I don't know, there's just something really cool about this old paper. I just feel the need to, to use it in our projects and um, admire it and adore it. And oh boy, we're not quite even on the bottom. Oh, it's gonna be really hard to move now. Oh, it's okay. We'll just call it good. Um, all right, you got that? So we have a center and uh, that was pretty easy, right? So let's say you want to uh, jazz this up a bit. Like maybe you just don't want this whole thing solid um, like that, but you want to have some, some different uh, things going across it. So maybe we're going to find something that looks different. What looks different? I could find a, um, well, we definitely know you look different, but let's see if we can find something else have that. Oh, this looks different. Okay, so this is different. And maybe we're going to cut part of this out. And you can cut it or tear it doesn't matter. I'm a big fan of tearing because I don't have to measure or do anything. So um, too difficult. Well, let's just cut a section out. Well, let's cut the let's cut it out and see what we what we have that what does it look like? Okay. All these little scraps can come in handy. You can use them up. 
you use them up in your projects. Don't have to save every little scrap, but if you do and you use them, hey, hats off to you. <laughs> I think that's awesome. That's always my goal. It rarely comes out like that. Now you, you could stay um, very centered. You could do a corner. You could do a, a like something like this, and I think that's what I'm going to do. But for this one, I think for some reason, I'm going to grab some walnut ink. Can you see that? I got my glasses on. Okay, uh, walnut stain, and uh, since this has a nice rough edge, I think it's just going to help it pop a little bit more against the background. Inking is not necessary. It's just um, optional, and if you enjoy the process, then go for it. If it's like, oh, God, not, not, not inking again. You don't do it. Don't do it. You don't have to do it. Um, no rules, right? No rules. And uh, I'm using Fabrifix glue, and I've trans... I've transported it into this uh, icing piping bottle made by Sugar Bells, and uh, but basically has a thinner metal tip, so I don't go through so much glue. And if you haven't seen this, this is my this is my handy dandy self-designed foo foo glue container. This is a water bottle covered in lace, glued onto a piece of cardboard that has been decorated. And um, if you go look in there, there's some glue that's le leaked out, but it turned into its own stopper. So that's um, working pretty good there. This one I have my. Um, uh, my uh, art glitter glue and we're, we're, we're talking to our art glitter glue lately to see if it wants to come back and play We're not quite hundred percent sure. It's willing it might be a winter thing. Not sure um, Okay, we'll see though. I'm not giving up on it. I think it's a good glue. All right So there we have some like different looks different things going down All right, and and you can even continue and do a little bit more if you want. What else do we have here? Um, like maybe you want to just do something across the top there just for fun just because you're you're here and you just wanted a little something okay I just want a little something just to give it a little bit of difference okay now I'm just gonna glue that on and see what happens What's that look like on the back okay that's okay we don't really need much on the back because we already have it covered over so I'm just gonna tear this off flush with the edge very easy to do and get rid of that because we don't need all that there so you can um collage or as much or as little as you like i'm going to leave this a little bit blank because we are going to put something on top of here um so just jazzing up the sides and then if you flip it over now we get to jazz up the back yeah now you could also do this middle and and cover over the edges maybe i should do that because that looks probably more complete all right let me try maybe i'll put the words at the top and the bottom how about that Okay, let's just cut this page in half. Mm -hmm. And then we'll have lots of words. All right. And just tear this here. And then we'll glue. That's like so brittle. Uh, but I love it. I love it. <laughs> it's like a, it's, I don't know, like a weird fascination for the old papers. Just love them. All right. Get my glue. Going from the edge to the edge, taking that there and then tearing this little side off. And then we're going to do a flip over. Hold on. Hold your breath. Okay. Well, let's just put some glue down here and be done with this. We'll be done with that. Yeah. Okay. All right. And the fold. Uh, that's how that's done. You don't have to fuss with it too much. Now, um, we're going to do the same thing on the bottom, I guess, because we have a little tail there. So let's deal with that. Okay, we can just quickly yep, tear that, go here, maybe get some glue, going with the glue again, getting glue everywhere, still don't have the baby wipe, that's okay, we don't need it, nope, and enough to wrap over the top and then decide exactly how wide you want this, I'm going to line it up with the one that's there, oh, such lovely paper, just love the feel of it. Crunchy, crinkly, crunchy, crinkly. Gotta love it. Okay. All right, here we go. Um, okay, so this is the back. And this, oh, no, sorry. This is the inside. This is the outside. That's the inside. Okay, so now let's do something with this. Now, you might say, hey, hey, if I'm going to put something there, I think I might be able to see through it. Now, I don't know if this one you're seeing through that much, but if you were, you just take something and you cover it. Like, let's say you have a white piece of paper and you just stick it down. Okay, this will work. Um, it's here and we're just going to glue it. Here we go. 1957 shorthand book. 
All right, here you go. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right, now you could slide it over while you still have a second and line it up with one edge. And then you're saying, but Pam, but Pam, what about that? Well, we have more paper. It's okay. It's okay. We're not out of paper. The world has not come to an end. All right, here's a nice piece of, uh, I don't know, something. But it looks, it looks very fancy. I think we should use it. Um, here we go. Come on, uppies. There you go. Yay! All right, so we have you. We maybe need you to be about, I don't know, that wide? Okay. All right, that's good. And that will work very nicely. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue that down. I think we can glue right on this. Whoop, hold on to your glue stick. Hold on to your glue stick, Mrs. Don't let it run away on you. Be gentle. Remember, these papers are gentle. May, um, remember your orientation. If you have something that's upright, you want to make sure. Well, you don't have to do all upright, but if you wanted to maintain upright, just double check before you glue down because things can get away on you really fast. Yeah. Okay. And I think I want to do some more here. Some, I don't know, just something different, anything. Um, okay. So we did that. We did shorthand. We have lots of shorthand. Let's do it for, Let's go deep and find what else is here. What else is here? We have other papers. We do. Okay, what are you? You're, you're something. Okay. Okay, so this is a different color paper. Whoop, there we go. The glue goes into the walnut stain. Um, that's all right, though. I'm just going to get the text block, free it. Okay. There we go. There we go. Now, this must be a play or something. Something about Merlin. Merlin, maybe the magician. That's kind of cool. Okay, let me, let's do that. All right, let's put this down. Just, we'll just glue it. I think we're going to cover all that. So there you go. That under piece is really just used as a blockade to uh, mask what's under it, but it doesn't have to be. It can actually do your back and that's fine. And here's some different writing. We can use this. Okay, I'm just going to hand tear this because I'm right here. I'm right here for gosh sakes. I don't have to run to the garage and get anything. Oh, that's very sticky under what I'm, I'm doing. Yep, yeah, forgot to, forgot, forgot about that. Okay, so let's maybe put that there. There goes the glue again. Yep, it's just got a mind of its own today. All right, so maybe we want to do something different here. Maybe you want to do, I don't know, a surprise of some sort. What would be a surprise? Different font would be a surprise. Or you could even do um, a little piece of uh, um, decoration or something like that, like an illustration or something. But let's just, look. I've got a little pieces here, so let's, let's use what we have. Okay, we have scraps, we have scraps. Okay. I have some of this. Yep. There we go. Whoop, that was too close to the edge. Back up, Sally. Back up. Get your edges together. Mm. Okay. There we go. There. All right. Now we have one little piece there. That's okay. We'll do something with you. I'll put a little, a little colored piece up there. A little illustration from a plant book. I'll we'll just put that there and cover that. Yeah. All right. So now we just have these two flapperoonies to cover. So let me take a bigger page here. I like the, I like this stuff. So I think it would be very good. Now the advantage of doing the fold over allows you not to have to worry about coming too close to the edges. See, you can just simply place it right on top. As long as you're inside the frame, you're good. Okay. So back up. Let's glue. Oh, that's that's very nice there. All right. We'll glue on you. Please don't rip. Please don't rip. Please don't rip. <laughs> oh, these little tender old pages. They've been through the best bit, but they've made it this far. We're going to take them all the way into the, to the next century. Well, maybe not that far, but, you know, we'll take them as far as they're willing to go. All right, we have that. That's good. We want to do something like that. We could do that. Let's just use all these little bitties up. Oh, the little bitties. Yep, this is a great way to use up scraps. Um, just a couple of uh, greeting cards. And you are off and running, creating something amazing. Okay, what is this? Here's some nice, uh, this is from the shorthand book, but the text is different, which is very neat. I like that. So let's, where's the tearing ruler? Where's the tearing ruler? Here it is. Um, all right, let's see. Let's take, let's get down to the text block. 
It looks kind of cool when we do that. It's just a style. It's just a style. There's a billion styles. You can do any style you want. Yeah, take these in any way you want. You can rotate the font. It doesn't have to be right side up all the time. That's just a, uh, a belief. And uh, we can, we can, we, we don't have to follow that. No, nope, no, nope, we don't. Okay, so let's take about that much. That should cover us. And then we're gluing. And then we're gluing. So we're taking it home. It doesn't really take that long to do this. So it's kind of fun. So if you have a stack of uh, greeting cards around, hanging around, you know, that box of, that's stuck under the bed or in the back of the hall closet or down in the cellar. Hmm? Hmm? Who's got some down in the cellar? How about the attic? Anybody got some up there? What about that? All right, here's another different style text font thing. We'll grab this. And uh, yep. Yeah. All right. Let's make sure we have it long enough. Are you long enough? You are long enough. Look at you go. Look at you go. And there we go. Okay, that'll work. Let's glue her. Let's glue her. Um, okay. There, we have that side done. And, and as you know, the, um, the spines are free. They're very easy to bend, no problem. Okay, but we are gonna put something on the spines just to make them a little bit more appealing. Um, if you want, you don't have to, it's just an option. Um, okay, we have this, that's kind of cool. All right. Oh, that's really, that's kind of pretty. I like that. Okay, I think that's going to go right on the inside. That just works perfectly. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, this is an old book of uh, bed and breakfast and inns around the world and their famous rest, uh, recipes. So I just came across that at a thrift shop and I thought, oh, that's cool. You know, that might be neat. Um, so this is the Fox and Hounds. Don't even know if these places are in existence anymore, but um, kind of neat to look at their old recipes and stuff. I love a good recipe. All right, there we go. So now we have the whole thing is covered. Now, one fun thing that you can do with um, these kinds of collage is if you have areas where um, different texts and fonts come together, you can take a piece of uh, something that looks different, like any contrasting color or something like that. Um, like let's see, let's see. Well, this looks sort of different. Um, not that different from that one, but the text is bigger, so we can do that. All right, let's try that. Um, where's my tearing ruler? Where'd it go? Here it is. Oh, that thing hides me on me all the time. Okay, so just take like a, a piece. There we go, a little torn piece. And then you put a bridge. And um, that might be what the bridge looks like. So, and you can ink the bridge or not ink the bridge. Totally up to you. I'm not going to ink the bridge. I'm just going to just gonna lay it down so you can see the concept. Okay. So if you want to get more of a collage collage look, then you can do these little hybrids um, like that to give you extra, extra layer look. Um, so it's not actually a lot of extra work, but it's just um, uh, you're, where the two pieces come together, you can add extra and you can keep going and going and going with that. And it kind of looks cool. Um, I like that. Maybe across the top here. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? Something? Anything? A little piece of that maybe? Yeah, that might look cool. All right, let's try that. Why don't we just put that whole thing there? Okay, we'll just take off this piece and then we'll just stick that there. Okay. All right, now. He is not to tear it, not to tear it, not to hold your breath. Hold your breath. All right. Okay, here we go. There. There. So then we have something like that. So you can just keep patch mealing, patch meal. Is that the word? No. There's a word. Patch making? Can't, can't think of the word. But you know the word I mean by like uh, piecing it together. Patchworking? Okay, I'll work with that. Um, then if you want to do something with the um, seams, you can totally do something with the seams. And I would recommend doing something that's very thin, like if you want to put a piece of seam binding, something like that, like in this one, I just, um, I put seam binding on the inside and I wrapped it around and glued it down on the outside. So I'll show you how I did that. It's pretty easy. Hang on, let me grab some seam binding. No, um, Mom, I don't know if you should do the seam binding. You already did the seam binding. Maybe you should show them something different. Why don't you look for something different? I'm going back to sleep now. Bye, everybody. <laughs>
Okay, I found something different. I don't know what this is. Maybe it's seam binding of another sort. I think, no, it's not stretchy. It's just some sort of little lacy trim thing. I'm gonna try this. So what I did, nothing fancy yet again. Um, uh, what was that, cereal nut, nut and honey or something? This should be nut and fancy, nut and fancy show. <laughs> All right, using the finger tool to smoosh as we do. And it is recommended that you, uh, you lay this down Maybe this way and and leave some tail over it because we're going to wrap it around and this is probably about as bulky as i would go I, I, this one was maybe even a little bulkier than i would choose but apparently i chose it so we're going with it and that's here here so let's can you see why, why am i off the page there we go okay um all right here we go there so yeah i'm trying different um colored mats to see which one shows off the stuff the best so you guys can see it the best. Um, there we go. That's down. And then we're just going to come around from the top. Did we put some down yet? No, no, there's no glue up there. You got to put down there and put some glue, Missy. Okay. So I put some down, smearing it, and then the overlay. And then push. And where's my snipper? Here's my snipper. These are great scissors if you have any difficulty working with your hands, cutting. They make it easy because you just squeeze as opposed to pull. Um, a lot of crafters use those. All right, so we're going to do the same thing here. I might want to check just to make sure that landed where you want because it might not have gone straight. So just double quick check. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'll just make sure there's enough glue to go around the corner because we're going around a... a um, spine and this is going to reinforce this little guy it's going to make it a lot stronger eh, and you can play with it a little bit as far as its exact location while it's wet okay let's do this again we have an end and now that we have this all figured out we're going to go down whoops oh the wire did that glue go nobody knew who was driving then yeah looks like somebody got into the sauce with that one okay here we go down we go. Okay, a little extra glue. Sometimes you can get lucky and wipe it away before it gets dries shiny. And then flip it over. And then glue this one up. And put the whole glue down at one time. Fabric fix. Fabric to fabric. Fabric to paper. Paper to paper. It's just a good glue. Good clear silicone glue. Grabs fast. Doesn't really warp, warp your paper very much. So it's a, it's a junk journal friendly glue. Everybody has their own favorite glue. Okay, now we got to put a little on this side so it anchors. And there we go, right on top. Where's our clipper? Come in with the clipper. There we go. And we're down. Are we in? Okay, yeah, we're in the, we're in the picture. Now get it lined up. Get it lined up. Okay, there we go. All right, so now we have that. Very easy, right? So now we're double checking to make our, sure our trifold works and it's gonna work well if you gave that little extra quarter inch here when you merged your two cards together. Now it's gonna fold nicely. So maybe you just wanna go and ascertain that everything is glued down as it should be. And if it's not, you can always go back in there with a little extra glue. That's okay. All right, just smoosh that down to its appropriate location. I didn't know that was going to be on the front. Am I, am I going? Yeah, this, this is my inside. That's my front cover. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that. I didn't know that was going to be the front cover. <laughs> yeah, see, when you're working it on it backwards, you have to kind of remember which one's going to be your front cover. But I think that kind of came up cool because that's a neat thing. All right, so inside um, on this prototype, I just did a, a corner tuck and a, um, a long pocket on that side and then a notebook in the middle. So let's just add those things. That might be fun, huh? Um, do I have more of that stuff? I do. Okay, so we can make a long one out of you. Let's try that. Okay. We are going to cover up a little bit of our collage, but that's okay. It's all right. It's all paper. And uh, we have more. Okay. Now this I think I'm going to ink. And maybe I'll ink it in pink this time. 
So I did the other one, I think, in brown. Yes, I did it in brown. So I'll do this one in pink, just for a little different look. You know, I have different colors. I can play in the different colors. You can play in the different colors too. Um, a nice, good ink, like starter. I, I don't know. I always go to uh, brown, black, pink, blue, sometimes green. And then I try and uh, encourage force myself to um, uh, use different colors, but I always gravitate back to the ones I like. And, and you know, you know, meh, why fight it? I mean, if you want to explore new colors, do it. If you're like, really happy with your base colors, um, go for it. I think if I could only pick two colors, I'd pick black and brown initially if I was just starting. And then I'd slowly like, you know, ask stuff for Christmas and holidays and birthdays. And maybe somebody might come up with some, some for you. Okay, now we have that pocket. We're gonna let that dry. And then do we have enough over here? To make what is it, something? Do I have anything? Come on, make something. All right. Well, how about we just make something? All right. How about we make something out of you, or should we make it out of you? Well, we don't have enough of you, so we'll just hang on. All right. I thought I would use this one because it's nice and bright, and I have it um, that over there, so it's kind of a complimentary thing. You don't have to be complimentary. It's no, no have tos, but um, I think it's going to go nicely against these colors. And let's see what, how we can turn this into a something. I have to make something out of it, right? And come this far. Can't, oh, can't see a thing. There you are. Okay. I'm back in the picture. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Tearing. Tearing, tearing. Whee! All right. There we go. I cannot tear for the life of me. My, glue, my fingers are too gluey today. All right, we're coming in for the cut. Oh, you just can't tear it, you're gonna cut. All right, so now let's see, what are we gonna do with this? Um, I could just do a straight pocket or I could fold it back and make like a little lip. That's kind of cute actually, maybe I'll do that. That's cute and functional and it handles the entire issue. All right, now let's just use some, um, well, let's use the compliment. Let's keep going with the pink, I kind of like that, all right. Going around here, it's gonna help it pop against the background a little bit more. With the pink hue, and then I think I'm just gonna carry on with this there. And so you, you can use papers from anything. It can be, you know, comic books, um, magazines, whatever you like. Okay, so let's just make a little pocket out of that. And that's pretty easy to do. The old L-shaped glue, L, L. There we go. And white glue, any glue can make a pocket, paper to paper, so you're pretty good there. Um, there we go. And um, now we just want to have a little central thingamajig. And let's see this time. I mean, we made these papers the other day. I think these might come in handy here. All right, let's see if we can maybe do some kind of flipperoo or something. I don't know, I'm just feeling like a flipperoo or something might be kind of fun do here let's see are these papers we just stamped we were just random stamping like out of oblivion just stamping um i kind of like that just a little bit of a layered look and then where does it all have to come together here okay now you could staple that you could glue it you could sew it you could actually fold that over make it shorter so it could go like there and then you could put something at the top. Let's do that. Well, you don't really need to fold it over. But let's let's sew it. Okay. We're gonna sew now. Can you see? Not really. <laughs> okay, there, I'm just gonna sew this really fast. See, there's like three. I'm just gonna I'm going in here. I've got some brown thread. Hoping I'm gonna hit the right spot. Number four, got the last one. Go! You could stay oh, where's the pedal? There it is. Go! Oh, I'll get the pedal out of the way. Okay, there we go. Now we're rocking. Now we're rolling. And this is just holding together my papers. All right, there we go. And cutting it off the back. Okay, so we have that. I might, nope, can't see a thing. All right, there you are. Okay, we're back in. Okay. Well, that wasn't very straight. Pam, what are you going to do about that? I don't know. I don't know. It's also confusing. Um, I think I want to narrow this down a little bit, so let me just chop off a side so we can see a little bit more of what's going on. And 
where we want to go with it. Because I wanted it to pop, pop a little against the background. I think that's kind of cute. Um, okay, so let's just, let's just, well, let's see, do we want to do that? That's kind of cute too. I do, I kind of like that. All right, let's do that. Um, let's glue this here, and then we'll glue that here. Well, that's kind of doing the same thing. But then we're going to glue this here, and that's going to be our mainstay. That's going to be the stake in the sand. There we go. And see how all that contrast just works to our favor? And now you could come along and you could put like a little something at the top. Let's do a little something because it's going to go with this. All right. Let's see, make sure we're long enough. We're we long enough. Yeah, I kind of like that. Okay, now let's ink you what color. Want to go pink again? Are we just going pink, going big, and going home with the pink? Okay, let's do that. All right, we're doing it. We're doing it. Oh, I don't know if I told you. Worn lipstick. That's the color. All right. And this is from one of my botanical books. I'm sorry, I can't remember the name of it. But um, there's some beautiful imagery out there that's just begging to be found. Um, and just these lovely, lovely old pictures from days gone by. All right, there we go. Very nice. See how it all just sort of, next thing you know, you've poor you've got that off the back. You've portfolioed yourself and you've got something to play with. And maybe you want to have some journal cards tucked in there. So we can do that. Oh, wait a minute. Do we have, or we already have something on the front. So I really don't need to do much on the front with this, except maybe I'm going to ink it a little bit. Should we do the pink or the brown? Let's start with the brown. And you don't have to do this part. I'm just kind of doing this for fun, but all my edges are covered. I might have to glue that little foo-foo down just a smidge. Let's see. Let's just get in there and give you a little extra glue. There we go. Yeah. Okay. And. Okay. And do we want to come in with the pink? We could. We could. Come in with the pink. Just a little hewage. Just hewage. Just a little hewage. Okay. There we go. Very cute. Very cute. All right. And if you want to. Um, you could add some fun things in there. Just tuck in whatever you like. Make some journal cards. Okay, so let's just say we cut some of these up and maybe you want to just ink the edges a little bit to give them a little bit more of a vintage feel. You could put a word on them. Oh, you fit there? I think you're going to fit there. Yeah, you're going to fit very nicely. Okay, let's pop a word on you. Grab a word. Word time. How about journey? That's a good word. We like that. All right, here we go. No, oh, I should probably put that on something flat. Okay, they're better. Okay, we got the word on. Yay! Okay, we got a, a journey in here. And maybe this little guy, he's kind of cute. Maybe we'll ink him in pink. Pinker? Pinker? There we go. Yeah, very pretty. Very pretty. Um, and then we could put some things in here. And what were we going to do? Oh, we could do something different. Like we used some of those here, but maybe we could put music. That's different. We don't have music in here yet. We have different colored music. That's kind of cool. See, these did come in handy. They came in handy. Maybe I'd like to do a pink, a brown, and a green. Yeah, because I have pinks and browns and gr greens. Look at that. That's awesome. Okay, so what's the best way to show these? Let's see. Can't be any wider than. Can't be any wider than that. Okay, let's try there and see how we get we'll just fold it and see what happens probably too wide but we can we can fix it okay let's try that are you, are you gonna fit probably not oh no, we're not gonna fit we're too long okay I'll, i'm just gonna trim you all right i trimmed you and i trimmed you now let's see if you fit oh i think we're gonna fit now we're not gonna complain anymore nope all right there you go <laughs> So you have a little trifold, very easily made out of a couple of um, greeting cards. So I hope you like this idea. It was fun for me to make and show you. And um, I hope you give these a try. They're really handy uh, for junk journals and for gift giving. You can put gift cards in here. Um, uh, red letter writing paper. You can make notepads in the middle. You could put uh, three pockets in the middle. We could do a myriad of things. And you can close them all sorts of different ways too. 
but uh, they're, they're very easy to close with any regular paper clip, which is kind of fun. And I lost my other one, so I'm just going to grab another one because we're here, you know. And um, there we go. So take care, everybody. And um, what else do we have to say? We have, if you find value here, please like, subscribe, and share. And um, remember, April, sign up for the newsletter. There's an extra special surprise there. And uh, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. And um, I've got a Etsy shop with vintage digital kits. Yes, yeah, she does. And um, a newsletter I told you about, um, favorite tools and supplies in the, the Amazon shop. Uh-huh. And um, I could do this all by myself. I have it memorized now. And uh, better than mom does. She still reads it off a card. Can you tell? And uh, um, you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Facebook group. And come and join our Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun over there doing weekly and monthly challenges. So take care, everybody. Have lots of good old papery fun. And we'll talk to you next time. Bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs>